Hi students, uh, uh, welcome to my lecture series on process plant operator using simulator. And uh, please uh, watch my videos from the beginning because as we are going constructively um, uh, through the videos. If you don't uh, watch my earlier videos, it's difficult for you to understand the process. And today we are going to um, understand what is the feed forward and feed backward systems. Uh, let me give you a small idea about feedback means traditionally what we have learned till now is a kind of feedback word what is feedback word is once a disturbance is disturbed the process then you sense it and try to take the control action that means disturbance have already disturbed the system and second is feed forward systems feed forward systems are those when the disturbance is before it disturb our system it will take a controller will take action that means before disturbing the process itself, the disturbance will get eliminated. Okay, that is the only basic difference between feedback systems and feed forward systems. Uh, let us go to the simulator. You understand what is the feedback systems and feed forward systems. Okay. Yes. And uh, let me go to the simulator. And this picture you are going to see it's called feed backward and forward system. The one furnace which is there on the left hand side, it is operated under the feedback mode. And the one another furnace on the right hand side of the system, it's called operated in both the ways. Feed backward as well as feed forward. Okay. Let me understand uh, what is the objective of the present control. Because an oil is going into the furnace, which is getting heated up through the heating coil and exits the furnace. In the both the furnaces, it is happens the same way. And the objective is to maintain the exit oil temperature. The exit oil temperature, the set value is 350. Okay. Uh, and the process value is three, also 350 at present moment. So there is no control action as such. What happens when the moment I disturb the system, okay, both the controllers will take action. The one on the left side is a feedback, and the one on the right side feed backward and feed forward systems. Which one is going to react faster and better? That is the objective. What happens here? Let me tell you what the controller is doing. Here there is one controller will detect the exit temperature of the oil. And according to the difference between the set value and the process value, it sends a signal to the valve uh, to pump more amount of fuel into the furnace. Example, if I uh, disturb the system, example, if I open this HIC001 uh, to 60 to 70% or so, and what happens? The disturbance will go to the both the systems. Okay, when the, when, when the more oil you are pumping into the furnace, of course, the exit temperature is going to get reduced because more amount and less fuel burning inside the furnace. So accordingly, uh, the difference between the set value and the process value, it is going to open pump, I mean, going to open the valve so that more amount of fuel is going into the furnace and burn and burn and which in turn increase the oil temperature, which is uh, there in the jacket inside the furnace. Same thing happens. What happens in the feedback as I instructed you, once you release more amount of oil, that's a disturbance. The disturbance went to the, went to the furnace and then you measure this exit temperature of the oil, then you take action through the valve. That means already disturbance has gone into the furnace. Then you are taking action by measuring the exit temperature of the oil. One second, let me check uh, one more thing. Okay, one more thing. Yes, and here and other what happens uh, the same disturbance is going into the second furnace also only one thing difference is see here there is one sensing element that is kept the flow rate which will be measured that means what happens if you release more amount of oil more flow rate is going coming into the pipe once the more amount of going coming into the pipe the sensor detects the more amount of fuel accordingly it will generate some signal and this signal goes to the controller and this controller take action on this value and second this is called feed forward that means before the system at uh, disturbing the furnace the, i mean before the disturbance is disturbing the furnace the sensing element is taking care of that and accordingly action is going to take place this is called feed forward loop okay the another is a feed backward loop feed backward loop uh, is once the disturbance has i mean, I mean disturb the furnace and you sense some temperature here the, the set value and process value is not getting matched accordingly you send a signal to the valve to do the necessary action whether you open or close depending upon what kind of disturbance you are putting inside okay here you see feed backward 
as well as feed forward because don't worry about these factors at this moment only you observe present the fact there is no a signal that is coming there is no access disturbance the multipliers and summer summer 0.33 it is also 3.33.33 by 100 value okay and the moment it senses some signal it will going to change the value accordingly the final control element manipulated variable which is 33.33 percent okay the value is 33 point accordingly the number the, the number it generates it is going to change this number also uh, so that accordingly it will control the control valve let us disturb the system okay now it is 60 let us disturb this to let me check whether uh, it's uh, open or not yeah now it is open let me check video is working uh, yeah video is working okay uh, let me disturb the system now now i am opening this valve uh, to 70 percent see the dynamics what is happening now it has received some signal the feed forward loop it is sending some signal to the controller the controller is going to take action accordingly here also there is no sensing element as such a, what the process initially it will disturb the furnace i mean disturb the parameters and accordingly it will exit temperature of oil will change then the controller will take action through the valve okay now you see 341 350 okay the set the set temperature is 350 just keep in mind what is the present process value is 341 here the set temperature is 350 and the present process value 34 that means it has reacted instantaneously let me uh, fast forward things a bit better observe all these factors what is happening here uh, the, see the process value uh, 346.58 and set value is 350 here also 342.87 the set value is 350 see how beautifully i mean i mean uh, the feed forward and feed backward this particular the, the thing on and the furnace on the right hand side of the screen is reacting very early as compared to the feedback loop which rely on only feedback systems uh, this is one such a advanced systems people try to use I and mean, traditionally advanced systems and uh, this is how people will tackle uh, this because uh, if they wanted to if they want to precisely control the temperature of the furnace this is what uh, people are supposed to do they are uh, putting more kind of loops into the system okay and we cannot put only feed forward because it senses only flow here not temperature our objective is to sense the temperature that is why you cannot only rely on only one parameter okay it senses flow but our objective is the uh, senses the temperature but there are some factors which converts the flow and then uh, to the how much the temperature it should have okay okay i mean manipulated variable how much it should be opened how much it should be decided by the feed forward and feed backward both the loops and uh, hope now you will see here it's around 346 and 350 it's 348 and 350 the reaction the reaction is much faster it looks like uh, no both are same it's not like when, when you talk about the furnace even uh, one minute is also good matter to them and uh, there are alarms don't worry about this alarm there's one is green and one is yellow then there are no green is fine yellow is some deviation has occurred it's okay this is just to i mean i uh, know uh, uh, alert the operator who sits in front of the panel to see what is the uh, situation okay simply you have to click okay then fine and this is what the uh, today's session and uh, uh, thank you uh, this is dr surendra signing off we'll meet with some other video